All right, guys, what's going on? With snow coming next week, I think it's time I put the plow on the walker and see if it works. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to get the deck off the walker and you would think out of all the years I've ran walkers that I've done this before but I actually haven't but I don't think it's that hard the hell Kind of looks like they kind of rigged that up a little bit. I might have to get a new pin. All right, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing some running around this morning. I want to let it warm up a little bit. We actually got a couple jobs to go do. Uh, some small cleanup jobs. One of them is just kind of the leaves in the yard. The other one, uh, it'll probably take a couple hours. You know, it's trimming the bushes, getting all the leaves out of there, and, and giving it a good final cut. So. Uh, so yeah, we still have some work to do Right now. I'm kind of running some errands in the morning uh, kind of letting it warm up. It's 32 degree 34 degrees out and uh, I'm just gonna spend a little time kind of running some errands let that Let it warm up a little bit uh, Right now I'm headed to my dealer one of my dealers picking up my salt. I just ended up buying a pallet from them I got to go by the bank and then I have to go to uh, I gotta go to Menards and pick up a uh, TV stand that me and my wife bought last week. We ordered it, came in today, or we came in yesterday, so uh, I gotta do that. And then there's something else. Oh, I wanna go buy, uh, I wanna go buy a couple tarps. Uh, you know, I've been seeing uh, people using tarps in their videos as far as fall cleanups with leaves and things like that. And I think it's, it's a pretty good idea. And, I don't know why I haven't been doing it, but, uh, so I'm going to go buy a tarp. So we got the salt picked up and uh, now we're going to head to the bank and wherever else I said I needed to go. I can't remember now, but uh, it's kind of funny whenever I go into my dealers, you know, like I said, there's, there's two different dealer Walker dealers that I deal with a lot. Uh, I deal with those guys a lot. That's the guys I bought the uh, 38 I from and uh, the other, the other dealer I deal with a lot because they're, it's a, it's a better location and I get all my parts all that kind of stuff from them and uh, you know I've heard from other guys that dealers you know they know they have a YouTube channel and they know uh, you know kind of all about that and you know I'm not one to go around and be like hey man have you seen my YouTube channel hey have you seen this I'm not kind of I'm not the self promoter type guy so I'm always wondering if my dealers know that I have a channel and uh, you know, I'm not gonna bring it up and you know, obviously I'm not embarrassed about it or anything like that, but it's just not something I'm, I just go around talking about. And, uh, but yeah, like whole time this morning, I'm just like, I wonder if he knows, <laughs> uh, you know, but it's kind of funny. I'm sure, 
you know I've heard that uh, other lawn care companies around my town they know I have a channel and you know I was at that dealer oh a month or so ago and uh, ran into some guys uh, you know they said hi and everything so uh, so yeah that's always cool when you run into people like that but uh, like I said I just you know I wonder if they know I'm I don't I don't know I don't know maybe they do maybe they don't I would think if they did they would say something um, maybe they don't want to say anything because they're like this guy's a freaking idiot one thing I just realized the bad thing about this salt you know they put it in the truck nice and easy with a forklift but I'm gonna have to unload all this crap unless I just carry it around the back of my truck for the winter that's 49 bags at 50 pounds a pop that's a lot of weight I'm gonna have to move well dang it all right so right now is the next day i had to stop i couldn't get that that thing off of there and i'll show you that here in a minute but i had to stop uh get ready to go to work i was running out of time so i thought i'd wait till the next day and finish this this video up so basically the problem i was having let me show you is this here clips into this right here and it kind of it helps support the deck so uh i was having a hard time get that off so what i did was I lifted up the deck, I took the uh, hammer like this, and I basically just pried it up. So, as you can see when I did that, the deck just started sliding off. So, let's go ahead and finish it off and pull the deck out. And that's all there is to it. So basically that's it. It's just those two pins, it's that top hook, and then it's gonna slide right off, just like this one did. So now let's get the implement hitch and hook it up. In the future, I'm definitely gonna do this in the garage so I don't have to move all that stuff around, but I wanted to do it out here so you guys can kind of see better better light and kind of uh, get to see what's going on we're gonna grab the grease gun put this thing on give it some grease and see what happens I guess you would just kind of maybe tie that up like that maybe surely you don't want it hanging like that All right, so we finally got that on there. Uh, I found out the trick is to put something underneath there to get level and to get these pins in here. And then, uh, yep, see it's on there now. And then we gotta put the, put the plow on right there. All right, so the plow is on there. This here is a little hook with a lever. And now it's on there good. All right, so there we go. We have it installed. It's sitting on the ground right now, but that's because my switch isn't working. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, basically, they, they wired up a, a switch right here that's supposed to raise and lower the plow. This right here, you have to manually, you know, angle left or right, whichever way you want to go if you want to do that. So I think once I get the switch figured out, I'll be in good shape. I think what I'm going to go do is just buy another switch and wire it in both sides, see if that doesn't work. Because the switch looks like it's been banged around a little bit. It looks a little, uh, looks a little beat up. So uh, we'll see if we can't figure that out. Other than that, once we get that working, I think we're going to be in good shape. It's kind of fun sitting on here with a plow. I've never I've never plowed before. I'm actually looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, don't make the same mistake I did by the biggest tarp they got. It's too much. It's too hard to work with. But I'm going to have to figure out how to make it work. Now I know why the 20 by 40 tarp was 50 bucks. And the, like the 20 by 20, the smaller one, is $75. Because nobody's going to buy the big ones. Except me, because I'm stupid. This is why I always say my channel is what not to do. That I shouldn't give advice, I should just show people what I do. That way they can kind of do the opposite. Look at that tarp. Well, nonetheless, we're gonna fill it up with leaves. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe it. It just didn't dawn on me that a 20 by 40 was that big. My trailer's only eight by 16. Wow, why did I get such a big hmm. All right, so today uh, I'm going to change the plans just a little bit. I uh, planned on doing a couple other cleanups today uh, after all my running around, but I got all the running around done. took a little bit longer than I, I, I thought it would. Came back, put the blade on the walker, uh, the plow, and I think I'm going to do my house and my two neighbors. And then uh, since I have help tomorrow, uh, we're gonna go do the other ones tomorrow uh, with the uh, with one of my helpers. So, uh, so yeah. That's four of them I did in about two hours. So, pretty good. So I got mine done, and all three neighbors. So, yeah. 